What's going on guys, this is CH from VillagePartsSource.com here to answer an FAQ on how to change files in WordPress when you guys keep getting, you need to make this file writable before you can save your changes. Alright, so let's go ahead and change the permissions to 777 and it's very easy and it doesn't matter if you're on a website that's already being hosted or if you're just on your own computer aka localhost which is what I'm on. So I need to go ahead and track down, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, this file right here. So I'm going to go to ZAMP and I'm on a Mac and I'll track down my ZAMP folder and let's go to htdocs and let's track down this theme that I'm using. You got to know what theme you're using and it is the perfect field and I'm going to go into WP content. Here's my themes and here it is right here. I'm using the e-commerce thing right here. This is the one that I currently have activated or loaded. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to find my style.css file right here for my e-commerce theme so it's right here so let's right click on this don't open it with a text editor click on get info and what we want to do is we want to scroll all the way down to right here let's look at our privileges so for the time being while this site is being worked on I want to change staff and everybody to read and write and it's going to ask me for my password. Click lock right here when you're done. Let's close that back up. And let's look at this. Let's go ahead and reload it. I'm going to hit Command R. And there it is. Now I can update the file. That uh, you need to make this file writable before you can save changes is gone. But make sure that when you're done, you know, editing whatever file you're doing, whether it's your header.php file or your style sheet. When you're done with it, go back to whatever file that you're working on and let's close these up because when they're open, they're extremely vulnerable to somebody hacking into your site. So when you go back, go to read only. Let's go ahead and lock it back up. There it is. And let's reload our site. And now this is back. You need to make this file writable before you can save the changes. All right, guys, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Maybe I'll see you guys in another video.